open by uh, sh expressing my concern and sharing the concerns expressed by others in relation to all those who are adversely affected by current storm conditions and hopefully that uh, we will have no more uh, fatalities later in the day. Uh, can I ask specifically in relation to a programme for government commitment to monitor and benchmark the use of lo uh, by local authorities of the new vacant site levy legislated for by the previous government? A recent statement by the Minister of Finance, Pascal Donoghue, uh, states that he apparently is not in favour of taxing vacant property and is reported to be considering instead um, uh, a tax break as a positive incentive, specifically a capital gains reduction to 15% rather than 33%. Uh, such a proposal, in my view, narrows the tax break and make, makes the whole taxa taxation system more fragile. Um, it's the path that was followed to, to ruin and destruction um, by Fianna Fáil previously, and it's not one that we should follow now. So can I ask you, can I ask you specifically, um, will there be um, an increase in the vacant tax levy, or is that to be abandoned in favour instead of um, a tax break for property owners? Thank you, Deputy Minister. Mr. English. On the, on the planning site levy, in the planning bill that we passed in July here, there is uh, allowance in that for the increase from the 7% up to, up to, from the 3% to 7% for the year, for the, for the second year of the levy. 260 sites are on the register at the moment, but 180 would be, uh, would, would be due to pay a levy in 2019. And 180 out of the 260 would be due to pay the levy so far that we're aware of uh, in the year, starting in January 2019. And the second rate then kicks in in 2020, as passed by legislation in July. Thank you, Deputy McBarry.